So we're talking about Dracula. You know, it's your chance to see this latest adaptation of Dracula. It has like the perfect blend of humor and horror right here in Kentucky. Actors Theater of Louisville is putting on this production. It's called Dracula, a feminist revenge fantasy, and it opens this month. To tell us a little bit about that upcoming show is the executive artistic director, Robert Fleming. I'm ready. I'm sorry. <laughs> I am so ready for this because, you know, just following all the buzz about it on Instagram and TikTok has been incredible. I mean, this is an adaptation from Kate Hamill. Yes. Right. So people that maybe are not familiar with her work, why her version of it? Well, Kate's um, a kind of master of um, adaptation, classic adaptation. She's done uh, Sense and Sensibility, a lot of Jane Austen's work. And so the idea of exploring this particular work uh, right in front of uh, uh, the uh, opportunity to share with... We're coming um, to fix your mic right now. You're used to being on the, <laughs> to the stage, we, right? <laughs> uh, get to share uh, this story from a very different perspective. Usually we're seeing damsels in distress. Yeah. Uh, but in this, the women are really active. There's lots of um, grappling. It bounces from horror to humor in such an elegant and uh, exciting way. It's strong physical theater, and Kate's work allows all of that to yes. happen. I love seeing that just even just the pictures of rehearsals. How are rehearsals so far? Like, what does that feel when it's, when you get into rehearsals and it's like this is such a classic, but you're doing it so differently, you know? It's been really, really exciting seeing the work. We just watched a stumble through just the other day. The work is extraordinary. You call it a stumble through? Yes, because it we gives do that them every a day. <laughs> It's kind of a metaphor for life, that we think. You know, barely made it on the air today. Exactly. Just like the last two years, there have been challenges with COVID. There have been, like, there's just life happens. Yeah. Um, and art Stumped keeps through. happening right in the face of it. And that's mm -hmm. what's really exciting, seeing such strong work come out of um, these really dedicated artists' uh, mastery of their craft. Will, um, will it predominantly be an all-female cast, like for the most it, part? It, it has mostly females. Uh -huh. um, um, uh, but uh, is uh, Dracula of course, a female? No, Dracula okay. is. Uh, uh, it, 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 what's so interesting is just really charming. So yeah. you can really understand why um, there is this pull between a shadow side and a and a truly um, interesting pull because mm -hmm. he really understands something about human nature, and uh, it's just been really really fun watching. Um, it is. The physical work, the humor, we've got um, extraordinary uh, creatives working on the project. Mm -hmm. Dave Anzuelo, who's working with the movement and the fight choreography. Uh, Joy, who's working with the dialect work. Um, it's just very much the classic and also very much a contemporary lens on yeah. it. I'm always amazed whenever I go to an actor's theater production mm -hmm. and you read through the credits of where everybody has been, <laughs> yeah. how like globally renowned everybody is from music to orchestra to stage to actor. Like it's just kind of across the board that you realize the depth of actors theater is such a treasure. Thank right, you that for people that. from around aren't you always like blown away when you see the it, names of people that say I want to come there or yes. or they have graduated from the programs Absolutely. there. Absolutely. It's been such an extraordinary opportunity to also see what is local is global mm -hmm. and what is global is local and how that interchange continues to happen in the information age. You know, yeah. we've got online in, uh, opportunities to engage as well as in person. And we have members uh, from 17 different states, seven, you know, several places that around nice, the world. Support. It's just very exciting. Is to there be a, part a lot of, of excitement and energy just around just having, I know you have had performances with people in the audience, but to really have, you know, people in the audience this yes, time. Yes, yes. And, and while we've done that, it's really exciting because it is a blend of some extraordinary uh, Louisville, Louisvillian talent, uh -huh. as well as um, uh, folks from New York who are in this particular company as well. And so it's kind of what we do well, mm -hmm. you know, uh, being able to have that intersection of both. And it's not many, it's not a long, long run. Like this is a it's, very limited run. It's a, it's a tight run, uh, September 9th through the 18th. Who is short? Uh, and um, get it while you can. So get it while you can, yeah. exactly. S tickets still available? Where Tickets can people still go? available, going fast, yeah. uh, selling well, but 
we love to have you come out and enjoy the work. All right, Robert, thank you so much for stopping thank you, by. Claudia. I will be there because <laughs> I'm to ready it. for it. All right. Uh, so for more on if you'd like to get those tickets and learn a little bit more about the show, just head on over to actorstheater.org.